Morning, morning, morning. Five minute meditators. I hope that you are rising from a beautiful night's rest, a wonderful weekend, an opportunity to demonstrate how you're blossoming and blooming in the spaces that you are. I hope that you are moving in the direction of commitment. I hope that commitment shows up you up for you in every area of your life. Whatever your commitment is so that you can bloom where you're planted, that's going to be vital to how successful you are in the process of this blooming period. I know, just like the weather here in Georgia, it went from really nice to now back to being cold. That's what happens when seasons change before they fully come in. Don't get distracted by what seems to be no growth. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding that breath in. And release. I allow commitment to direct my footsteps. I allow commitment to direct my footsteps. I've always heard when you something is important to you, you will make the time to spend. You'll commit the time that's needed to nurture and nourish that situation. Well, that's the same thing in your blooming process, making the commitment for the things that's important to you. It's vital for you to honor yourself through your own commitment. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in and hold. Hold. Hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding that breath in and release. I respect commitment in my life. I respect commitment in my life. You have to respect the level of commitment. And the reason why that's so important is the fact that if you don't respect your own level of commitment, it would be too easy to pull you away from distractions, right? It would be too easy for you to find yourself in a position where, say, for example, during Lent season, um, you committed to fasting from sweets and meat and bread and things of that na nature. Well, it'll be too easy if you're not honoring that commitment to be pulled away. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding that breath in. And release. I love my self-commitment. I love my self-commitment. Sometimes we have to fall in love with that commitment because it could be a struggle. It could be hard. It could be something that makes you change your mind and wondering if you're doing the right thing and all those things. Once you make the commitment, honor that commitment within yourself. Fall in love with the commitment. That way it makes it easier because whatever you're in love with, you're going to remain committed to. You're going to go through the process. So the in love part comes with what's the end result, right? It doesn't always feel good to go through the process. Ready? One, two, three. Deep breath in. And hold. Hold. Hold that breath. Just a few more seconds holding that breath in. And release. I appreciate my ability to commit and bloom where I'm planted. I appreciate my ability to commit and bloom where I'm planted. Commitment is challenging. I won't say difficult. It's challenging because it's a mind shifting. It's an action shifting. It's a process of maintaining a certain level of to yourself, on a ring, a certain level, to yourself. Moving in that space of commitment allows you to show up for you. 
So keep showing up for you as you commit to the change in the blooming process. I see you. Namaste.